Hi, in this slide, uh, I'm going to continue with variations on a theme, the theme being total procurement cost. And in this particular little meme building block, I want to explain why total procurement cost is a fundamental foundational reason for why distributors exist in channels of distribution to begin with. Um, what I've got here is a basic slide of, let's assume that we have a distributor in the middle. And the distributor has a magnitude of over 100 different suppliers that they buy from in large quantities, truckloads, uh, LTL, 5,000 pound kind of minimums. They bring it into the warehouse, and then they have over 200 customers that they take care of. So customer one will call up uh, twice a week and say, hey, here are three, four, five items I need, and every one of those items happens to be from a different manufacturer. But they're only going to order one case or maybe even one item, not, not a truckload or a caseload or a skid load type of thing. And we say, no problem, we'll get it out to you right away. Or in 15 minutes, you want to come out and pick it up at the counter. So what happens is the customer, in theory, could buy direct from a manufacturer and say, hey, I want to buy direct. They say, no problem, 75,000 pounds of, 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 of stuff and wait five, six, seven, eight days to get it. And so if we had a, a, a list, I should have suggested up right front, go get a, a copy of total procurement costs, the 11 elements, and just go down there and realize the price goes up, but every other single element of TPC goes down, and if you add them all up, they go down more than the price goes up. So a distributor exists to give the customer the lowest total procurement cost at a higher price, and that doesn't even sort of take into account uptime economics because in theory, if I need something direct from a supplier, it's going to take them days to get it to me and I need it to go do a job right now. Obviously, I can't take care of customers or get done what I, I, I need right away. So the uptime economics and customer retention economics take off dramatically when we buy from a distributor as opposed to buying direct. You'll notice at the, at the bottom here in this equation that in this, this diagram, if we had put in all 100 suppliers right over here and we drew lines in, we'd have 100 lines going in to the middleman, and then we have 200 lines going out, which is a grand total of 300 lines. If we took the, if we took the middleman out of the picture, so I'm going to erase all the yellow, but in theory, if we could erase the, the guy in the middle, he's gone. Then to connect all these these uh, these these uh, suppliers to customers, we'd have to draw lines from this one supplier to 200 lines, from the next guy to 200 lines, from the next guy to 200 lines, we'd have 100 times 200 lines. So resilience of lines, which represent transactional activity and paperwork. Um, and so you, you intuitively realize from this little butterfly diagram that distributors massively consolidate transactional activity costs. Now we'll come back and visit other reasons the distributors exist beyond just giving the, the customer the lowest total procurement cost at a higher price. Thank you.